in this video I'm going to be putting up OSPF uh, against EIGRP and I want to show you what is uh, which protocol has the faster convergence um, I have a duplicate uh, topology both for OSPF and EIGRP uh, the primary routes that are happening uh, should be to get to the loopback on these uh, routers right here is they're going to take the up route to get there okay both EIGRP and OSPF these networks are two totally separate uh, networks from each other um, I'm running it in GNS3 I'm running it side by side so I'm going to be doing a ping test sending out live traffic or real traffic to the loopbacks of these routers R4 and R7 and I'm going to cut off their primary route which is F0 slash 1 um, I'm going to shut it off and they should be re they should reconverge and take this secondary route to the, the interface down here uh, what we know about EIGRP they say it's supposed to be faster because if there is a feasible successor then it should reconverge almost instantaneously or it, sh it should reconverge very very quickly should be faster than OSPF but again you read in books and stuff like that but is it really faster uh, I made this video to see which one is uh, I tested it out and I was surprised by their results but I want you to see and see if there was anything wrong with my test so let me pull up router 1 to show you uh, OSPF's route so I'll show IP route uh, I want to look at the 4.4.4 network which is the loopback on R4 and it says it's going to go out fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 which is this way so it's going to go up and then back down okay so now let's show EIGRP show IP route to 4.4.4 network which is right there and it's going to go out fast than 0 slash 0 now I also need to make sure that I have a feasible successor in my uh, topology table so let's see the command is show IP EIGRP topology uh, let me scroll up real quick and that is the network I'm going to be pinging uh, I have one successor route and that is the 435200 feasible distance which is this guy which is out fast, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and this is the advertised distance or the reported distance for the serial 0 slash 1 link um, and that is lower than the feasible distance of the successor route so that should be our wait sorry <laughs> the advertised distance is lower than the feasible distance of our successor route. Yeah, I always get mixed up with those words. So this means that this secondary route, this serial 0 slash 1 uh, route, should be our feasible successor and it should switch over if something were to happen to our feasible, uh, to our successor route. All right, so that's why EHRP is supposed to be so much quicker because if there's a feasible successor built in it's labeled as the hot backup and it should recover faster than OSPF all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring up PC1 which is this guy right here I'm also gonna bring up PC2 and bring up router 4 and router 7 I'm already in their interfaces so all I have to do is actually shut them down and we should be able to see who converges quicker. So if I hit the up arrow, let's do 20 pings. 20 pings should be okay. 20. And I'll pre-configure a shutdown on the interface. I'm already in F0 slash 1 right now. And those are the primary interfaces. So you know what? Let me just do 25 just in case. All right, so I'm going to start the pings and then I'm going to shut down EIGRP first and then shut down OSPF after All right. so let's start the pings, I'm going to do this square thing right here enter, 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 enter so notice how many timeouts I'm getting from 
He had GRP. Look at OSPF already recovered. I only lost three pings. And I lost... How many pings did I lose? Two to seven. So I lost five pings. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I lost six pings through EIGRP. I thought that EIGRP would recover quicker than OSPF because of that feasible successor route. Uh, I did this many times to make sure that I wasn't wrong. And I was just astounded by what uh, what happened. Um, every, all the books that I've read says that EIGRP is supposed to be faster. And maybe in certain circumstances it is. But in my test lab, and I'm um, I'm only doing it with these four routers, and I'm affecting I'm affecting a route that is not a J, uh, not adjacent to our first router right here who does the convergence so um, yeah I mean uh, I'll, I'll do it again just to make sure I did a no shut on these so the primary route should still be up if I go to router 5 show IP route and it's still taking fast ethernet 0 slash 0 okay so everything is back to normal let me hit the upper row. Let's do 20 pings this time. 20 pings and get the shutdown ready. Alright. So we'll hit enter, hit enter, shut, shut. Alright. One ping, two pings, three pings, four pings, five pings, six pings, six pings. Uh, OSPF only lost three so again I don't know uh, I always thought the AGRP was faster looks like OSPF has a faster convergence time so uh, critique me uh, right in the comments if you see anything wrong in my in my lab I just have simple basic config set up on, EA, on EIGRP and OSPF I made sure that EIGRP had a feasible successor so, yeah, OSPF1. I would have never thought that. So, um, yeah. So I hope this was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.